Hey loves, it's April and I'm back to do another hair review. This one is going to be sweet, short, and easy. This is from a company called Stallion Length. And this hair that I'm actually going to do is going to be a shorter length with curly virgin hair. So Stallion Length is of course an extension company and their packaging does come very well wrapped. Besides it coming in this, it also did come in a priority mail flat rate box. So of course, um, you guys know hair is like one of my favorites and um, I cannot turn hair down. So it's always great to venture out and see what type of hair is out there. So their bundles do come prepackaged like this. Um, this is a great bag to keep. I like these little bags because you can put everything in them. I kind of put the hair back in the bag because I wanted to show you guys exactly how it comes. And I have here three bundles and a closure wrapped in gold like tissue paper. I wanted something curly but short because I wanted to make like another curly like kind of like Afrocentric type of wig. And it smells really good. The color is a natural color but it looks really dark. But it does smell like it was just kind of like washed or something. So this is kind of like to me like a deep wave kind of like curl. And that is the 12 inch. This is a 14 inch. So I think I got like, um, I can't even remember. And it all smells the same. It's just that the color is pretty dark, but you know, I could deal with it. I probably, what I want to do is put like some auburnish kind of highlights and I'll probably end up using just hair dye and not bleach. Um, because bleach sometimes just can be so harsh and then you have to worry about getting those brassy colors out of it and so forth and then toning it and it's just like one huge hassle. I have a 12 inch closure. So I have a 12 inch, a 12 inch closure, a 14 inch bundle and I also have another 14 inch bundle because I didn't want anything too long. So like I said, this is from Stallion Lens and you can catch them online. I'll put the information below. The bearding on this hair is decent. Um, it just looks like the normal bearding. It is a double wefted track and it is the curly to me. This is like a deep wave. The hair is soft. I really can't tell you how it performs right now until I install it and wash it. So of course I'm going to go ahead and do a regular wig but this one is going to be short. There was like a particular style that I had in mind that I wanted to try with um, a short, shorter curly hair wig. I love curly hair, but sometimes when it's too long, it's just too long and it's like all kind of problems start to occur. This right here is the closure. This is a 12 inch closure. It has the reinforced edges, which I actually love. This is a nice size closure. Um, it seems a little bit wider. This is probably like a 4x4, four four, but it is a good color. This is kind of like a medium, kind of in-between brown and light color. This is like a like an in-between color. But I like the ones with the reinforced sizes. As you, you guys know, I always say that, but I really actually do like the ones with the reinforced size. This would be a great closure to make, like, to dye with because it's just like the hair is already parted. But the closure knots are, like, fantastic in this closure, too. Like... There are no like swollen knots. All you need to do is like put it up to the light and you can just, if you can see right through it and see that there's no knots, this is like a really good closure. Like double impressed. This is a really good closure. Good closure. So, of course you guys already know, I'm not gonna bore you with a whole kind of tutorial statement or what have you, but as you guys know, I like to do one video all in one. Like I said, you can check styling and length out. I will post all the information for you ladies below. Okay, you guys, so it is time to dye this unit. I'm going to be using a box dye, which is dark and lovely. This is their, uh, I think it's Honey Blonde. I'm not really sure. I can't really remember the name, but I'll put the information below. I've already went ahead and combed out this big hair. It is curly, pretty hair. And I'm going to go ahead and mix this. I'm not trying to go for something blunt like any particular color. So, yeah. I think box dye is a lot easier or safer for me to use because when you use bleach dye, it actually takes out the curl pattern. And I wasn't really trying to lose any of the curl pattern in this hair because I was going for a particular look. So, once I went ahead and made the mixture, I'm going to go ahead and separate the hair and brush it down just a little bit so that it'll make it a lot easier for me now you see I'm using my brush which is my dye brush and I'm just kind of like painting it or not really saturating it but 
brushing it on to certain areas of the hair nothing too heavy because like I said I don't want like a drastic change in color but I do want a change of color so I have here I think I'm going to be using two I think I used two boxes um, well one box excuse me use one box of dye because that's all I had and I'm just going to go ahead and use my fingers and just go into various spots you do need to make sure that you comb this dye through because if you don't it just sits on the front so yeah guys Okay, ladies, so I will tell you that I'm really kind of upset with myself right about now because I actually deleted the actual clip of me cutting this hair. Um, I was cleaning out my computer, or my laptop rather, getting rid of unnecessary clips of videos, and unfortunately this was one of them, and when I went back to do the video, yeah. So this is the outcome of it. I'm going to just put some mousse on it and style it, and you can see the color a little bit, but I hope you enjoy the video, and I promise I'll do a cutting in another video. Okay, you guys, so I'm all finished with this stallion length hair. This is the length that I was going for. I didn't really want it long. Long hair is nice, but after a while, it just gets to be like, it's the same old thing. So, you know, natural hair is in, and my hair used to be like this, so thick like this, and I would hate it as a kid growing up. Like, please like blow dry my hair out but I would give anything for my hair to be like this thick and full so I just decided to make it into a big curly kind of crazy looking wild hair style afro um, fortunately you cannot see the color change in the actual hair color from the dye I use but it does give reflections because I'm looking at it now as we talk it gives like these reflections of like this burgundy-ish or brownish color and it's like highlighted throughout it so it's just a whole lot better than it being black which is cool but I like the color that it's giving me like it's giving me life with this color it's noticeable but it's not so like oh my god I really wanted to go for like this blonde color I really wanted like these blonde colors but I just didn't get it with that box dye some hair is different some hair lifts better than others or takes well to color better than others this one just really didn't take well like I expected it to but I will tell you it held up it didn't dry out it's a really pretty curl pattern I really wish you guys could see the actual color um, hopefully you can on camera if you're interested in a unit you can always email me or you can check out my website at gonewiththewindwigs.webly.com and I'll post all the information there because I do make custom wigs as well as custom wigs that are not in, are in stock meaning they're wigs made by me but they're custom but they're in stock they're ready to wear purchase ready to wear so yeah so anyway check out stallion lens as well you can follow them on instagram as well and all the information will be posted for you guys below and i'll see you guys soon and make sure to rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you on my next video my